Nobody tries to think about death until they're 90 years old. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way for everyone. You know you're not alone, I'll be with you every day. Let the Father's power guide you and your faith. Hold your head high. Now this is where we came on our first day, right? All right, we're here. Everybody out. We made it. Whoa. What do you guys think? This is amazing, right? This is so wow. cool. Okay, we'll get this. Why don't you guys go and play and we'll call you when lunch is ready, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Chris, don't you guys go too far. Thanks, Dad. I love this place. I love you. Thanks, I love you too. We made it. We did. Did you come here a lot? Every summer. Do you guys go camping up here? Mm -hmm. Did it ever get old? Ever. Have you ever seen like a bear? No, no. Have you ever wanted to see a bear? Do so you guys think we'll be best friends forever? Of course we will. Forever's a long time. We're like a club. We need a name though. Yeah. Like the Cool Kids Club. No. 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 That's real bad. How about the Bulldogs? Ew, no, they slobber too much. Hey, how about the Faith Club? I like, I like it. it. Yeah. Faith Club. The Faith, Faith Club. Club. The Faith Club. <laughs> We can't take these guys. They're just too fast. Yeah, they push me. Oh, too bad. Come on, guys. You can do it. Let's get with it here. Omar's right. We can do this. Let's do it. Let's get it right. We're like the three musketeers. Come on, there's six of us here. Oh, we're like the six musketeers. All for one. One for all. For all. No, this is Rick. Uh, Chris is in the middle of a game. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, Chris. Chris. You know what? Uh, Timothy John, Rocky and Kay Ranch has been an accident. You might want to go. Thanks. Okay. Hey, can you take over for me? Okay, you got this. Here? Cool. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Rip, you need a ride? Eric, what's up, man? I actually would love a ride. Hop on in. So
Welcome to the Book of Life Community Church. It was amazing, Grace. <laughs> As we think back, Let's remember the good times. Let's remember the good that has been done to others. Let's remember the happiness that's been brought. In the miracle of the loaves and fishes, Jesus working with one small boy of faith took an average meal and he fed thousands of people. And it wasn't about the food. It was about one young man willing to step up and believe. Well, in conclusion, let me quote from the words of the mighty man, Samson, who in the book of Judges said, and I quote, Who's got their spaghetti dinner tickets? Let's eat! Excuse me. Could you tell me what happened with the funeral service? Today it was supposed to be for Tim John. This is a different event. The funeral was a couple of days ago. Thank you. Rick, so what exactly did they tell you when you took that message from me? Uh, Timothy John, Tucson, Rock and K Ranch, something about a horse, and a funeral. Okay, think carefully. Do you think there's any way possible they told you two days ago? Oh, you know, there's a lot going on when I took the message. Rockin' K Ranch, Tucson. You Chris, with Donna and Tom Miller. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming. I had no idea who else to call, so. You guys friends of Tim's? Yes, and Tim also worked on our ranch. He was a heck of a roper. Mm -hmm. Had a roper? <laughs> yeah, he was quite the cowboy. Tim was a cowboy. When was the last time you saw your friend, son? Uh, we were best friends growing up. Just went separate ways after high school. My coworker took a phone call about his death, but unfortunately there was a mix up of dates. I took the first train here out of LA as soon as I heard. Probably head back tomorrow though. Where are you staying tonight? I haven't really planned. Well, let's head out to the ranch for some dinner and uh, we can take you to the cemetery tomorrow. Looks like it's been a while since you've had a home cooked meal. Me? Yeah. So far, it's quite a place you have here. 5,500 acres. Must take a lot of people to keep it up, right? Well, we can always use an extra hand if you want to stick around for a while. Yeah, why don't you just sleep over after dinner tonight? You can stay in Timothy's bunkhouse. Yeah, we'll see. This smells delicious, by the way. Why, thank you. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. So, do you have a rodeo? I was a calf roper. Still rope? Uh, that was a long time ago. Oh, don't let him fool you. He can still throw a rope with the best of them. Chris, before we eat... Oh, of course. I'd love to say grace. Oh, but we still... Dear Heavenly Father, please bless this food we have here. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, please bless this food. Dear Heavenly Father, Dear Heavenly Father, please bless this. Sorry, 
dear Lord. Please bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies. Amen. 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 That's right, Chris. You haven't met our daughters, have you? Uh, this is May, Lauren, April, Claire, and Lisa. And this is Chris. So, Chris, you say you're a chaplain. Yes, sir, I am. Rincon Valley Christian College in California. Did you say California? How close are you to the beach? Yeah, about an hour. I would love to live at the beach. Do you know any movie stars? Oh, like that one guy from that show. Oh, I love that guy. He's so dreamy. He's California dreamy. Do you have coyotes in LA? Or bobcats? Tarantulas? Scorpions? Rattlesnakes? All right, now you're starting to get scared. They can get in your boots. Well, good thing I ain't wearing any. But California's really not too much different than here. More cactus here and it's hotter. But it's a dry heat, right? Oh, it's a dry heat. <laughs> Tell that to the turkey when you stick him in the oven, right? <laughs> yeah, and there's all the stables here. and We've got all this land out here. So my boy, should I show you to the bunkhouse or should I call you a cab? Well, as much fun as this has been, Mr. Miller. How was your ride, honey? There's a section of fence over on the west side that needs to be looked at. Oh, okay. I'll get Ray and Zeke on it first thing in the morning. All right, well, there's some uh, chili in the bunkhouse if you're hungry. Nope, I'm good. I had some already. All right, good, good. Well, Amy, this is Mr. Christian Andrews. Chris, this is my oldest, Amy. Chris is a friend of Tim's. How do you do? I'll take Jubilee to the stables. So, Chris, you were saying? Well, it's not putting you out. <laughs> so, do all of your daughters help with you on the ranch? Yeah, they each have their own responsibilities and duties. Donna and I have been doing this a lot of years, and we're just not as spry as we used to be. Amy Grace, she's our right hand. Yeah, some of the comforts of home. I miss that young man. Just when you think you've got your whole life figured out. Nobody's promised tomorrow, are they? Well, make yourself at home. This is, this was Tim's room. I appreciate it, thank you. We're up at dawn. All rise. State of Arizona versus Ray Hawkins and Zeke Montagna is now in session. Judge Stone presiding. Be seated. And take those combo hats off in this courtroom. I don't care if you're in Arizona. You should know that. You boys have been in my courtroom way too many times over the last few years. You're way past the three strikes. Mr. Prosecutor, you want to proceed? Your Honor, 
Mr. Hawkins is charged with disorderly behavior and public drunkenness in a brawl that allegedly was instigated by Mr. Hawkins and his accomplice, Zeke Montoyo. They caused the destruction of a pool cue and one overhead Coca-Cola lamp. Now, Your Honor, I am not saying that these are the worst criminals in the world, but they are repeat offenders with no regard for society. I say, throw the book at them. Quiet, quiet in my courtroom. Mr. Gray? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, my client, Mr. Uh, Ray Hawkins, and my other client, Zeke uh, Montano, uh, have been arrested 22... 22... I've been arrested uh, 22 times, Your Honor. So uh, we are requesting uh, leniency. I object. Wait, 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 wait. It's, it's okay. You boys have some pretty good friends over there at the aid ball. They're willing to drop the uh, destruction of property if you pay $1,200 in restitution. Huh. Uh, my clients agree to full restitution, Your Honor. I object. I don't have that kind of money. I didn't agree to this. They are both gainfully employed, more than happy to pay restitution, Your Honor. That only is the charge of public drunkenness, Mr. Hawkins. I'm going to order you to do three days of AA meetings over the next 30 days, after which time you report back to me. Take advantage of this or you'll get jail time. Three AA meetings? Judge, I can't do that, and that's the truth. Oh, three days too much? How about five? Judge, you can't do that. Oh, I can't? You want to go for 10? Keep it going. 365? I got days. Come on. Didn't think so. Get him out of my courtroom. Should have taken the three. Now! City slicker. Thanks, Tim. Hey ladies, I thought I'd come by, see if I can help out around here with some, some ranch things. Well, you're a little late. It's lunch. Oh, okay. If you want, you can finish up with the rest of the stables after we eat. Yeah, I can do that. Deal. Cool. No. Welcome to the ranch, I guess. It's right on there. Thank you. Oh. 
Nice day. Okay. Around here, we usually do a little work before we eat. That right, just keep it slow. Lauren, you finished with the tack room? Two more. Good. Claire and May, you're on dinner detail tonight. Menu's in the kitchen. April, Lisa, finish mucking the stables. Uh, Mr. Andrews said that he'd like to finish up with the stables. Is this true? Sure. I got her in my lunch somehow, right? I was walking around, they were working, and... Well, Mr. Andrews, I think you should know these two are trying to pull something over on you. There are a lot more stables on the other side of this ranch. How many are we talking? About another 30. I'm up for that. Even with these two, they were looking at another half day of work. I'll honor my commitment. Fine. Ray and Z can show you what to do when you get there. Claire, please show Mr. Andrews where to go on your way to exercise the horses. The rest of you get going. You two? You come with me. Find something else for you to do for the rest of the afternoon. See you went to school, Tim. We were best friends when we were about your age. Hard to imagine Tim being my age. What is that? You don't seem so serious about everything. Anything else I need to know about Rain Zeke? Do you like to drink a lot? No. You ever been to jail? No. You guys won't have much to talk about then. Ray gets the brown bottle flu every month or two. What is that? He has a little too much to drink and spends the weekend in jail. Oh, and they know a city slicker when they see one. Hey guys, Mr. Chris volunteered to finish up with the stables, so maybe you could show him what to do. Oh, uh, we can point him in the right direction. I'm Christian. Okay. So you were a friend of Tim's? I was, yes. Hard to believe. Got a lot more cowboy in him than you. He knew how to pull his own weight. Guys, I'm just here to help. Oh, you want to help? Hold this. I have a PhD in muckology. Here's the muck. Hey, Professor, the muck goes over there. You know, you don't have anything to prove. Hey, I'm just getting my second win. You know, I can have Ray and Zeke finish up with these in the morning. No, no, I got this. You're a very interesting man, Mr. Andrews. Either crazy determined or just plain crazy. You know, I won't use your last name if uh, you don't use mine. Good night then, Mr. Chris. I'm interesting. Or I'm crazy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. Oh, no. Wake up before the sunrise, hit the road at the crack of dawn. Lord, my eyes are getting real tired, but I know I've got to drive on. Don't know where I'm headed yet, but I sure know where I've been. You know, I work and pray. I know he's got a plan for every rambling man Yeah, I know God's got a plan for me But it's hard to see the light in the darkness of the night Keep surviving, there's a lion inside of me
Aspirin? Oh, thank you. You may want to take one more. Oh, I am hurting in places. Me too. Hey, Amy, we've got a couple horses loose on the north fence. Can you get them for me? Yeah, I got it. Oh, and take Chris with you. But... Give me your phone. Huh? Okay. Here's my info. If you're feeling too sore to work tomorrow, just text them. I'll be all right. Okay, in about a week. If you find yourself in a hole, first thing to do is stop digging. Will Rogers. I don't think that was a hole I was digging today. Stop trying to be a ranch hand. Believe me, you're never gonna be a ranch hand. Just be Chris Andrews. I don't need another ranch hand. My friend Tim, I can't believe how fast our high school years have flown by. As we embark on this next phase of our lives, I hope we will continue to remain best friends, even if we go in separate directions. As long as we hold Christ in our hearts and surround ourselves with those who believe, we'll always be part of the Faith Club. Your friend Christian. Why did you keep this? There's about a dozen college students waiting here to see you. Okay, uh, just give me a minute. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, Amy? Amy, Amy? Rick. What's up, Rick? Dude, what are you getting back? I'm not sure yet, actually. Well, I'm, I'm drowning here. I've got like 20 kids who want me to give them my advice. My advice? Just listen and let God guide you to the answers. Well, that's easy for you. I'm not very good at listening. Just have faith. I won't be here much longer. So what am I going to do another Sunday service? You'll do great. OK, I have faith in you. Just please don't use the Prius story. I'll call you as soon as I know something. <sighs> All right, hey. What's wrong with the Prius story? Chris? Hello? God help me through this. Hey, Chris. Can you ride? Yes. Yes, I can. 
So you've ridden before? No. No, I haven't. Okay, we'll hike. Coach wants me to play football this summer, and I don't want to. I'm done with that. I'm a baker. Donuts, strudels, pies. I'm doing my nails this weekend. Pink or gold? Hey, I have seven brothers. It's not my fault he can't take a bunch. Pastor, who do I need to talk to to get some good donuts and coffee in the faculty room? Hmm? I thought you could use a day off. I don't think I deserve one. I think you're just trying to keep me from wrecking something else. My secret's out. April and Lisa sure knew how to play you. You know, I knew I suspected something. I really just wanted to help, but I did not expect to wake up in a stable. <laughs> you're such a city slicker. So what did you end up doing? Who? Lisa and April. I just made sure the alternative was worse. <laughs> How bad was it? Change and wash all the linens and clean all the bedrooms and bathrooms. It's kind of like what I was doing. I hope not. Did you know Tim well? No. He kept to himself. He was a good worker, though. I think Claire got to know him the best. And she took his test pretty hard. You may want to talk to her. That'd probably be good for both of us. I don't think I could do that. I'm not a very good listener. Well, we all got our strengths. You run a ranch, that's no easy task. <laughs> I don't run this ranch. You could have fooled me. I don't work it alone. I do rather enjoy telling people what to do, though. That I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let's go this way. So you know I'm head of the cheerleading team. Woo woo! Any ideas for a new routine? So, I've been working out, adjusting my workout, but do a lot of curls. You think the coach will let me back on the team? I think I'm homesick. <laughs> I was trying to find a great burger near campus. Any suggestions? Oh, not bad. I can help you with. Hold on my calls. I'm going to lunch. What is this place? All the old ranches have these family cemeteries. This is the Miller Family Cemetery. This one's an old cowboy grave from the 1800s. Oldest one we've got. Don't even know who he is. This is the newest one. Tim. Family had a service out here a couple days ago. Looks like Ray and Zeke made it out here too. I just got in the news late. To him, my friend. I want you to meet my parents. Your parents? I thought the Millers were your... They took me in after my parents were killed. The Millers and my aunt and uncle. What? What happened? It was five years ago. They were blocked down the street and got hit by a drunk driver. Dead at the scene. What about the other driver? Barely scratch. Do you go to prison or? <sighs> Not one day. Case got thrown out on a technicality. We lost the blood alcohol test. I've moved on. I don't want to know anything about him. I feel like it gives him power over me, you know? Mm -hmm. To lose your parents, I, I can't imagine.
<laughs> Are you serious? Thanks, Tim. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. I'm really glad you're spending some time here. Yeah, you know, I really think that's just what I needed. Yeah, sunshine and hard work can really be healing. Amen to that. Hey, how well did you know Tim? What do you want to know? I don't know. It's the way everybody talks about Tim here. Just different than the way I knew him, you know? And don't, no offense, I love this ranch. But I just can't really see him doing a job like, like this. Well, you know, sometimes people are working at something and sometimes they're working on something. Was he happy here? Was Tim happy? I like to think he was uh, finding some satisfaction in what he was doing here. You know, he'd been through a lot in life since you and he knew each other. I just lost contact with him. I got busy, too busy. Well, you know, we can't do anything about what's come and gone. All we can do is learn from our mistakes. It's words of wisdom. <laughs> I've got over 30 years of mistakes on you. Hey, by the way, Donna and I are going to be leaving town the day after tomorrow. I was hoping uh, you'd still be here when we get back. We'll only be gone a couple of days. Okay. And Amy's going to be running things, which she does anyway. If you could give her a hand with whatever she needs help with, I'd appreciate it. Well, I don't know how much help I'll be, but uh, sure. We won't be gone very long, just a few days. We'll tell you all about it when we get home. Can I go? No, I'm sorry, sweetie. Now, we expect all of you to give Amy the same respect to give us while we're gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, try to make sure that guy doesn't starve to death while we're gone, OK? Tim spent a lot of time out here the last few months. So where you two would listen to Johnny Cash? Yeah. And what's all this? <laughs> Whoa. What is it? It's, uh, stuff. A little book over here, too. Oh, my goodness. Tim and I, back then, we were just on fire for Jesus. So I went to a Christian college, became a chaplain there, right? He only went one semester, dropped out, got a job. I had talked to him since then. This looks like an outline to fix this place up. He never told you anything about this? No. They used to talk about how they had dances out here in the old days. He was thinking about doing services here. Like a church? Maybe this is why I'm here. Finish what Tim started here. I think I know who can help. Figured him for a country boy. How do you end up here? Hey guys, I want your help, all right? I found out Tim had a vision. He wanted to start some kind of 
cowboy church here on this ranch. You know, a place for people to come who wouldn't feel comfortable in a traditional church setting. Thing is, this first service was set for next Sunday. This isn't a church, it's a concrete slab. I don't know, you know, a few lights, chairs facing this way, pulpit here. Cowboy Cathedral. This cowboy wants some air conditioning. Come on, guys. Let's do this for Tim. You're all the faith club, after all. That's right. I don't know. Come on, man, you gotta have faith. In God, faith club, faith in Tim. Do you have faith or not? Yeah, faith is gonna take more effort than we mentioned over the phone. Amy, I want you to meet my friends. Maria, Donovan, Justin. Guys, this is Amy. Hey. Well, Maria, we have a room at the house you can stay in. OK. OK, if the guys bunk with you, Chris? Yeah, unless you guys want to sleep in the stables. I just cleaned those up the other day. Well, meet us up at the house once you're settled in, OK? Come on. Amy. It's not like that. Oh, it's like that. These are just a few stables over here. There's about 40 more stables on the other side over there. Dang, that's a lot of horses. A whole lot of horse. Oh, you're telling me. I spent a whole week selling out stables one afternoon. <laughs> Hey, Ray, looks like you're up to heifer now. Yeah, it looks like we got a few more hands to help clean out the stall. Yeah, we were just talking about that, actually. These are my buddies, Justin and Donovan. Come on, Z. These guys are jerks. Who think they are? I want to ride an ATV. Ah, they're just ranch hands. They like to give me a hard time. They ride up, they mock me, and then they ride out. <laughs> God molding your character. This is perfect. Much better than the bunkhouse. <laughs> so you knew Timothy too? Yeah, Tim and Chris were best friends back in high school. He seems so different. Timothy was so quiet. Never got to know him well in the three years he was here. I've already gotten to know Chris better in just the few days he's been here. Tim inspired us all. He was always up, never afraid to step out on faith. You know, like they say, you got to get out of the boat before you can walk on water. <laughs> you like Chris. Yeah, he's great. We're just friends. I don't know. Chris is a great guy. I just haven't been interested in anyone in a long time. Well, the horses are happy to see me. <laughs> Let's get you settled. Hanging out, just like high school. I know, man, I'm glad you guys are here. Glad to be here, man. So, uh, what's up with Amy? You ask her out yet? I'm, I'm just getting to know her. Carpe diem, my friend. Well, we did go on a nice hike the other day. Oh yeah? To a cemetery. Ouch. Now that's a cheap date. What a beautiful night. All this fresh air. I don't have that in LA. I don't think I've seen so many stars before. I gotta say, I think the uh, ranch life is starting to grow on me. Your friends are nice. You guys are hilarious together. Yeah, Tim should be here though. From the way you guys talk about him, he seems like a completely different guy. Yeah, honestly, all of this makes me miss him that much more. I can't but feel like I let him down. You know, I should have tried harder to stay in contact with him. Yeah, I do wish, though, God would let me see him just one last time. You'll see him one day, right? You believe her, Amy? My mom and dad were Christians, so, yeah. I was saved when I was 12. My aunt and uncle, they're good people, so. Sunday Christians? Sunday morning Christians? Me too. Yeah, well, God knows what's in your heart. It can be a scary thought sometimes. <laughs> you want to go to dinner, Amy? I'm not really hungry. Not tonight. 
Like on a date? Okay, Chris. It looks like the stage area goes over here uh, and the pulpit goes there. Um, and all of the chairs go right back here. We could string lights all over. That would be pretty. That uh, sounds great. Okay, okay. Let's get back to the important question here. Where are you taking Amy for the date? Wait, you asked her out on a date? It's just dinner tomorrow night. And she said yes? Does that surprise you? I think she's been on one date since I've been here. And it did not go well. What happened? First dates can be tricky. Claire, what happened? Well, I'm just a little sister, so what do I know? Claire knows all. She's clairvoyant. Two words. Endless buffet. Ooh, first date red flag. The guy was a cheapskate. Yeah, even I know a first day at buffet was a real bad idea. Unless I'm real hungry. <laughs> so what would Amy like? Something romantic. Something with candles. Something Italian? Something new to wear. I need to get you uncapoid. Yeah, that ranch hand look may work around the ranch, but you need to look like a lady if you're going on a date. Thanks. Do you remember that last date? That had nothing to do with what I was wearing. Yeah, buffet boy didn't deserve you. Chris is definitely no buffet boy. Exactly. So we're gonna need a fancy dress. And to do something with your hair. What's wrong with my hair? Just leave all day open. You don't see the flash in my eye. I buy a lot of waterfalls, but do you realize? You get me though you don't try. I sound crazy, but I believe, baby, the circle will go round and around and end with me. You don't read minds I'm thinking loud as I can Oh my, what's that? You're coming my way I can barely stand should feel extra special when his date is late. That means she's taking extra time to look good for you. Teen Girl Magazine, September issue. I hope you're taking her somewhere nice. Not a buffet, right? I'm not taking her to a buffet. When was the last time you had a date? I probably shouldn't tell you this, but the reason our sister doesn't go on a lot of dates is because she's been waiting for the right person. Well, I've been waiting too. Patience is a virtue. Thank you for waiting. Thank you for being worth waiting for.
My parents died, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. I guess working at the ranch has really saved me. This sounds wrong, but I feel guilty for my parents' death. I keep thinking maybe if I'd done something differently, if I'd gotten better grades, if I'd prayed more, something, maybe they'd still be here. They're gone because of somebody else's bad mistake. It's not your fault. It will never be your fault. It'll take time, but you just really have to convince yourself that whenever you feel guilty. Well, sometimes I'm not my favorite person. <laughs> like Jesus said, love God and love others as you love yourself. It's important to love yourself. You know, God loves us, so we're lovable. You make it sound so easy. Sometimes love is easy. <laughs> what is it? We should probably get back now. Okay, girls, girls, girls. Come on. What's going on? Lauren's in there, she won't come out. <sighs> Lauren, come out here this minute. No. Young lady. Hey, 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 shh, shh, shh. hey, just give me one minute, okay? One minute, trust me, this is what I do. Okay. All right, cool, huh? all right. Shh. Lauren, it's Christian, just me. Leave me alone. Please. Well, I really need your help with something. What? It's about my date with Amy. And you know her better than I do. I could really use your help. Can I come in? Okay. I wasn't trying for red. All right, well, lucky for you, this is not the first case of unwanted red hair I've ever had. I'd say about three hair emergencies a semester. All right, but I know just what to do. I hope you're right. Well, we'll know in about five minutes. I'm going to bed. Is everything okay? Yes. Well, good night then. Did you do something to your hair? Not gonna tell me, huh? Ministerial counseling confidentiality. It's getting late though. I should go. Managed to do something no one's done in a long time. What's that? Surprise me. Thank you. Have we waited long enough yet? You wish. Are 
you too. Thank you for treating me like a lady. It was nice to be a girl for a night. I hope I get to see her again. Thank you for sharing that part of yourself with me. Amy, what do you want? Us to ride together on horseback. Amy, what do you want, really? I want my parents back. You see, I can't give you that. Ever since we met, you have this, this wall, and I can't fix it. What's going on? Did something happen? Did... I just think I'm starting to realize that maybe God doesn't want me here. Chris, I've never seen you like this. Do you think you could ever forgive the man who killed your parents? No, of course not. Who could? And I don't think I can either, okay? Because he's the one who gave you this wall. And I know we have this connection, but... Let's see what this has to do with us. Amy, Tim killed your parents. Tim. My friend Tim is the drunk driver who crashed that car. I spoke to his parents. He told me about the crash. They told me about the couple he killed. You through that whole time? I spoke to your uncle. Tim told him everything. He said he was here to be a guardian angel. And he tried to make amends. I knew. And he let that man. 
When you showed up, I thought it was God bringing something good from something bad. That's what they say, right? God can take a bad situation to make it good. I thought all this was to bring us together. And you're a friend. You're a friend. He didn't just bring you here. He brought you here to kill me too. Amy. Amy! Lay your worries down. Just surrender here and now. All the doubt that's a foot, it won't do any good. So just lay your worries down. Put your strength in faith and love. Take your peace and you'll come the rub. And the fire will grow. Everybody will know. Put your strength. Amy. Amy. Amy, stop. Stop. Why are you here? Can't be because of me, and I thought you weren't interested in being a cowboy. I'm not. Maybe Ray was right. What, so only cowboys count? That's not my point. What is your point? Why are you in front of me? Listen, I just couldn't leave with the way things are between us right now. I just wanted to talk. Talk all you want, just not to me. I'm going to do this service, Amy. OK? And it's not going to be a celebration. It's not going to be an honoring for Tim, okay? It's going to be a warning about trusting people too much, okay? And then I'm gone. Then Ray was right about that building. By next week, that church will just be another mess for me and the girls to clean up. Just go back to playing at college. The people there can come and go in your life and you don't even have to ask. You said God doesn't want you here? Neither do I. Shelter, you know I'm sheltered. So why do you turn from here? Have you passed by all the answers? Are you torn by what seems to me? I was always the rest you saw. You lose your struggle in my turn. I was always the breath you call If you need shelter, come to me Shelter, you know I'm sheltered Just place your faith in me When you lay down your You'll find the strength you need I will always be the rest you saw You lose your struggle in my touch I will always be the breath you caught If you need shelter So have you texted her yet, man? She doesn't text me back. You know you're not supposed to text a girl after three times if she didn't text you back, right? How many times you text her anyway? More than three. Hey, hey, what are you doing here? Don't belong here, man. Why don't you go up to the house and help one of the other girls with their hair? I don't know what you did to Amy last night. That cold, bossy little... <laughs> 
Just don't be, you dare talk about her like that. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do about it? You don't have a clue what she's going through. Oh yeah? Well, As if someone drunk knows anything about being there for someone who oh, needs you, right? Right, 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 come on, man. Remember what the judge said. One more fight, you'll go to jail. Yeah. What's up? Hey, I just wanted to talk to everybody. Well, not talk, but apologize. I'm afraid I just brought y'all out here for something that's just not gonna happen. What are you talking about, man? We can get this done. No. I found out some stuff about Tim. I don't even know if doing his service is gonna do any good. I just, uh, I don't know. I'm beat down. Are you talking about Tim's crash? The drunk driver accident? He told you guys? He trusted all of you guys and not me. It wasn't about trust. It was about shame. He was ashamed of what he had done. He knew he'd let you down. He couldn't face it. So he turned his back on you. It's a lot more than that. All right, you don't know. OK? Have a dead friend just pull the rug right out from under you like that? When you get hurt like that, it just shows how much you care. Come on, remember what we always used to say? Where there's faith, there's Faith Club. I'm afraid I just don't have much to say these days. I think this is the end of the Faith Club. Amy, you wanted to see me? Yeah, May was out on the ATV and got it stuck in that south wash. Can you and Zeke go pick it up before it gets dark? Uh, no, I can't do it today. It sounds like a two-man job, and Zeke's in town picking up some gear. <sighs> I'll get my gloves. I'll go with you. I'll go. Sounds like a two-man job. Thanks, Chris. Ray? All right. He can carry the toolbox. Hand me a screwdriver. Phillips. Ray, I really should apologize to you for what I said. Nothing you said needs any apologizing for. You probably should be thanking Zeke. He's the one who stopped me from knocking your block off. I'm probably going to jail anyways. Jail, why is that? None of your business. Well, maybe it's something I can help you with. Stop. Stop trying to preach at me. <clears throat> kind of busted up a place a few weeks ago. I uh, get out of control when I drink. Like a lot of people do. Judge ordered me to go to a few AA meetings. And if you don't, you go to jail? Most likely. So you're saying you'd rather go to jail than go to a few AA meetings? It's 10. Well? Jail doesn't scare me like those AA meetings do. I don't really like talking in front of people. <laughs> you? Well, I'll tell you what, when's your next one? Tomorrow. I'll go with you. Why would you do that? Friends support friends. Oh, we're friends now, huh? Zeke should let me knock your block off.
Mom, Dad, I found the man who killed you and who took you away from me. I didn't want to see him as someone real. I didn't want to know anything about him. I thought that'd keep the hate away, but it just buried it deeper inside. I've been working beside him for three years. He was a good man. But how could I forgive him for something like that? And the bad keeps spreading. Can't stand to look at his friend because they're connected. And Tim's not there, so I can't. How could Uncle lie to me like that? How can he let that man near me? Amy? I walked up here for Tim. I just had to forgive him for hurting somebody that I really care about. And well, forgiveness is an act of faith, isn't it? Faith is about love. They're just connected. Jesus loves us, has faith in us, so he forgave us for all our shortcomings. As hard as that may be, it's up to you, it's up to us to accept that forgiveness. That faith, that love, that forgiveness sets you free, Amy. It will set us free. You want me to leave? No, I think I want you to stay. Christian, and I want to introduce to you a uh, friend of mine. Hello. My name is Ray. Hello, Hello Ray. Ray. Hey, girls, we're home. You know what? Could you guys help your mom with the bags? Yeah, come on, <laughs> girls. I've got gifts for you all. Oh. Everything go okay? Yep, we got everything taken care of. You know, your aunt and I aren't getting any younger and uh, we'd like to pull back some from the ranch. I can take more of the responsibilities myself. No, we already made our decision and the papers have been signed. You sold the ranch? Not exactly. We're giving it to you. You know, you're so much a part of this place that it's more yours than ours now. I don't know what to say. It's not gonna happen tomorrow. We've still got a lot of work to do, but uh, for now, why don't you go up talk with your sisters? I'm sure they've found out by now. <laughs> oh, wow, how long have you been planning this? 
Uh, I probably knew from the first year she was here. You know, Chris, when we talked the other night, I didn't tell you that I'm the one that found Tim that day. I saw his horse from my truck, and uh, by the time I got there, I could see he was breathing, but the way he was laying there, I knew I couldn't move him. And then he said something that really blew my mind. He said, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Then he said, this is the day that we're all waiting for. I'm going to see Jesus today. <clears throat> so I sat there for about 10 minutes with him smiling, me crying. And then he passed. I really appreciate you sharing that with me. Yeah, it's been a long day for me. Hey, what is this? <laughs> That's Tim's bike. Tim had a motorcycle? He had a dirt bike when I was a kid. He would never get on that thing. It was the only thing he was ever afraid of. Here's all the pain lies beneath my skin. Things that no one else could see. Plans that went astray took me far from you. Is this a service for Tim John? Yes. I was a friend of his. My name is Christian Andrews. He was one of us. He laid his colors down. Just trying to get his act together. Being obedient to God. Do you need help getting this place into shape? Well, not unless you know where to get 100 chairs. How about sitting on bales of hay? We got a whole barn full of that. Let's go guys, let's move some straw. The grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. That's from the first chapter, 14th and 15th verse of 1 Timothy. The books of Timothy in the Bible are about building Christ's church here on earth, building it on truth, the truth of God, truth of the good news, truth of love. And to get to that truth, we got to have faith. It's only done through faith. This Timothy here is one for the ages, for everybody. I was blessed enough in my life to know my own Timothy, a best friend since childhood. Because of him, the place we're in here tonight, he's the reason for that. He first had a vision to see this, but then also had the faith to work towards it as well. 
and his faith influenced our faith to keep working on it until here we are tonight, all of us here together. And even then, Tim knew that the church didn't have to be some white clabbered building with a tall steeple or even a cathedral made of stone, awe-inspiring in its grandeur. No. He knew that church is us. It's us here with our changed hearts, our saved souls, whether you're in a cold jail cell or you're here, free, wallless, in the very masterpiece that is God's creation. No, church is here, in us. And Timothy, I know, just passed recently, and his grave just up there in those hills, and I still see him here in each and every face that I look into. His faith in God kept him going through a lot of terrible, terrible times. That's what faith and love do, they keep us going. And his days, in this old world at least, are over. No more. Roman on the range, which is cowboy talk, in case you didn't know that. I didn't know that. But he's home. He's home and while he's there, we're all here still on our own trail. Let's hold on to that faith, that faith that keeps us. And my friend Tim, I'll really miss you. But I'll see you again. My heart beats like it does You are the air I breathe The sun shining above You are the dream I've had A million times or more Yeah, you show me time and again What I'm living for Just hold me, don't ever let me go You are a miracle, body and soul Tell me, just tell me you'll always be here To let me whisper I love you forever, my dear just a moment you have when you realize that everything that's common, all there is to be is just so clearly connected. And I've had that moment. It was right here when I first met you. It's the moment I stopped being me and we became us. But all I think about it, first thing I think of in the morning, last thing I think about at night, and in between, you've become my best friend, my inspiration. I can't imagine my life without you. I'm the man for you, Andy. You're the one worth waiting for. Frankly, I'm tired of waiting. Amy, will you marry me? Yes. Yes, I will.
my everything All the joy I've ever known Yeah, you give me time and again A heart to call home Hold me, just hold me Don't ever let me go You are a miracle, body and soul Tell me, just tell me You'll always be here To let me whisper I love you forever, my dear Forever, my dear Yeah.